anything as delicious as those first few bites of a truly great burger are those first few dates with someone truly great. Oh. Why do I feel the need to bathe? Blanche's bed is next to the X-15 at the Space and Aviation Museum. Oh, 16 was a very difficult age for me. My hormones were racing, my body was blossoming. I had urges and yearnings so strong. Sometimes I'd wake up in the middle of the night just sweating and screaming and clawing like a trapped panther, unable to release the lusty, steamy passions that constantly threatened to erupt from within me. You might as well ask me to describe the glory of the Great Smoky Mountains as they rise from the mist of a Carolina dawn. They went to a sleazy motel. Underneath my regulation uniform, I was wearing little black French lace panties. <laughs> Bearing the words, bonjour. <laughs> or was it, bon appetit? The colors of the monarch butterfly spreading its wings as it emerges from the miracle of the cocoon. She got him to pay for half the room. Blanche, wake up. My wife will be home any minute. <laughs> or the sturdy cypress reaching heavenward, tall and mighty and proud. That one, I think, is pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> Sir, you cannot die from that. No, it's just uncomfortable. Take a cold shower and the normal color will return. Come on, Donnie. What do you mean, come on? If you want me to do you a favor, you ask me. All right, I'm asking. You don't have to bite my head off. You're a real charmer, you know that? Oh, you lady die. Come on. Do me a favor, join the bomb squad. Oh, God, I'm crazy nuts about this guy. I know, I'm a little plain to look at. Oh, but... no, you're not plain at all. Oh, you're adorable. Cute as a button. Please, neck. What beauty mark? That one. I mean, we stopped having sex. Boy, I could never do that. Oh, big surprise. Oh, Carl is quite a guy. Lately, I've been dreaming about him at night. <laughs> Not Miles. Although I do have one dream that both Carl and Miles are in. <laughs> oh. Fundraiser cocktail party with Chinese lanterns and Portuguese... No, Hispanic waiters in tight black pants. <laughs> and we hire a band to play fish songs in pirate suits with muscles bulging. I'm gonna need a napkin to dry off my seat. That waiter was hot. Tight man with cast iron pecs. <laughs> Thighs that could choke a bear. <laughs> but you could eat breakfast off of. We'll have to shoot our waiter Will you look at that ass. And thighs that could crack walnuts. All that manliness in one room, in one crowded room. In one hot, crowded room. Everybody's steamy bodies all pressed Blanche, up against Blanche, each other. Blanche, Blanche, Blanche. Blanche, I could get herpes listening to this story. We started out talking about Mrs. Claxton's funeral. Yeah, but somewhere along the way, we segued into Blanche, the miniseries. Talk about sex. Well, it's been my experience that people who talk about it a lot don't do it very often. <laughs> Coffee, anyone? I can't stand another minute in a hotel. Oh, I know what you mean. If I have to come up with one more fake name, anybody would want to be a nun. I mean, nun. The word says it. See, when John Noretti gets here, I'm finally going to get my revenge. He's going to see a beautiful, vibrant woman who's done something with her life. Oh, Dorothy, you crossed your legs. You lose another sticker. Oh, right. <laughs> Rose, these games of yours are absolutely ridiculous. I mean, I can't think of anyone with enough control to keep her legs apart all the time. More cheer. I meant done something with her life standing up. Ingrid Bergman had Paris, my pussycat has crabs. I thought you were going to make him suffer. Oh, and I will. Tomorrow morning, I'll tell him he's the worst lover I ever had. If you tickle us, do we not laugh? Sometimes all night, I've heard her. Oh, 
Rose, for God's sake. You look like a giant elf. Can I borrow that sometime? Luge is the only one where you get to lie on your back. Okay, but you have to listen to everything I say. When I say jump, you say on who? Wait a minute, here's our walking playground now. A degradation part. <laughs> then I suggested we go back to his place. When we got there, I went to the bathroom to freshen up. After I had removed all of my clothes, I noticed his monogram velour bathrobe hanging there. Thinking only of his pleasure, I decided to slip into it. Oh, God, I looked so fetching. I could not wait for him to see me. <laughs> so I emerged, framed in the doorway, and slowly let the bathrobe slide from my perfect body. And you know what he said to me? Put your clothes back on. I'm going to take you home. Put your clothes back on? That's the first time anybody's ever said that to me. <laughs> Well, without shining a flashlight in my face. Ooh, oh, this is disgusting. And listen, don't forget to moan. Helps keep a man focused. Oh, God. Just like that. We knew that she gets hot at weddings. She was counting on us. You don't look after me when I get hot. That's because I also have a day job. You weren't married in a white dress? Oh, Rose, come on. I mean, it's one thing to hear snickering when you walk down the aisle, but me and White, even I couldn't keep a straight face. Oh, now, wait. I'm sure he didn't sleep with Blanche. Well, how about this picture? Well, I mean, just because a man is in Blanche's bed doesn't mean... So a guy makes one mistake. <laughs> Blanche, I'm going home, getting down on my knees and begging for forgiveness. Yeah, we can do that. Looking for the cheap Jezebel who's ruining my Gerald's life. <laughs> Look, as long as I'm here, I should tell you there's been some complaints from the neighbors about the noise at night. Which neighbors? Well, me. <laughs> Which noise? Well, you. <laughs> well, get him up. I pay my taxes. <laughs> I have this recurring fantasy. Take me, Alex. Take me now, I tell him. <laughs> and he says to me, uh, 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 Blanche, in the form of a question. <laughs> For God's sake, Blanche, you smoke a cigarette after that dream. I mean, ever since she got those flowers from Mel Bushman, she hasn't been herself. Well, I'm off to the rusty anchor. <laughs> Spring break comes but once a year. <laughs> that morning, the other shoe dropped. And it wasn't bad at all. In fact... It was kind of hot. <laughs>